Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, in this case we're going to be doing a very simple tutorial video. In this case we're going to be looking at exporting videos in the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because over the past few updates, Apple has really changed the way one can export videos uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. They've changed the way you access the menus, they've changed formats, and therefore I think a video like this can be useful for some uh, to get a better understanding of exporting your projects in Final Cut Pro 10 here. Um, as you guys can see here, I have the Apple App Store page open. The reason for that is just so you guys can see uh, what version I am on. Currently, I'm on version 10.1.2, which uh, at the moment of this video is the latest version here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and switch to Final Cut Pro 10 here and uh, take a look here. So as you guys can see, currently in my project line, I have a completed video that I am ready to export right now. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, two and a half minutes long, recorded in 1080, uh, full HD and at 720 frames per second with stereo audio as well here. Now, some of you guys may know in previous versions of Final Cut, you can find an export button in your uh, menu bar that, this, uh, that has disappeared. Now, if you go under File and hit Share, you will get to a very similar menu uh, that you may be used to as well. From here, you can simply go into all the standard um, output sources here. So, if you want the best quality out of your video or basically export it in the exact same settings that you imported your project in or, or really edited in, uh, make sure you just hit the export file button and in this case it will export in the exact same specifications. As I said before, we have Full HD 25 frames per second and it will export as a QuickTime movie. Uh, the reason why this is good is because QuickTime movies are well widely acceptable, they're known for the, uh, good quality and also will work all over the place. It will work everywhere from other computers to uh, websites and everything like that. So in general, QuickTime movie is the best way to export your project if quality really is what you're looking for. However, file size is pretty big. As you can see, for only a two and a half minute video, we're looking at 2.34 gigabytes, uh, which is quite a lot of file size here. And especially if you're like me and you upload your videos to the internet, say a website uh, or, a YouTube video, uh, or a YouTube channel, uh, this is not ideal. So there's another way uh, that I like to export my videos and it's actually the way I export this current video as well here. Uh, if we go back under file, the same share menu, you have these two options right here. We have Apple devices 720p and Apple devices 1080p. Now, if your project is uh, recorded and edited in 1080p, of course, export in 1080p. Uh, if this is done in 720p, make sure you export in 720p, not 1080p, as it will try to enlarge the image and it just won't look as good. So make sure you keep that at 720p. However, as you guys can see, we are in 1080p here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that uh, or make sure we press that. And what this does is it creates a, uh, the same file here. We have same 25 frames per second, same quality, also stereo audio, of course, same time, etc. However, the file type is different. In this case, we're recording or exporting to an Apple MPG4 file, uh, which is also widely acceptable, especially by YouTube, Facebook, or really just uh, any online uh, major sources here. And as you can see, the file size is a lot smaller. In this case, it's only 181 megabytes. And this is, of course, very time-saving when it comes down to uploading in areas with you know slower internet. Or in general, if you're trying to save some space on your hard drive, this is definitely a great way to go. As this will also make the videos easier to load online. Uh, so yeah, this is the way I like to export most of my uh, projects on Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, this is actually how I export my tutorial videos as well. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of a better idea on how to export your videos using Final Cut Pro 10 at this current version and what the different options do and the pros and cons of uh, each of the options. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see some more of my Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, I'll have some more videos listed on the screen. Thanks for watching.